Hi there, welcome back to my brand new video. Hope you all are doing good and so am I. Parents and children both have big dreams. Yes, they do. About their life and the wonders of the family holds, I am so glad you are born celebrates those dreams as well as the wonder of everyday experiences like sweet and special snuggles, cuddles, fun times and learning times too. New York Times best-selling author and Fox News anchor Ainsley has created a picture of that celebrates all the dreams come true, a parent, a child and creator gods. I'm so glad you are born. It's full of love and hope and has a sweet playful message inspired by the scripture that will leave your child without a doubt just how thankful you are that they are in your life and that they were created to be extraordinary. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing well and thank you for subscribing if you have not yet to subscribe to my channel. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29:11. This is a kid's book inspired from her own childhood. The writer was growing up. One day her mother told her that she was happy because her daughter Ainsley was growing up. That was her message to Ainsley. So suddenly she started realizing that birthday is something special. The day we were born is actually special to every one of us individually. Because you are going to contribute to the earth, God is gonna use you in creativity. In today's generation, we are thinking that we are not worth the life or all the troubles go around us is not right. So actually this is the thing that it uh, this book helps to overcome that sort of problem in our daily life basis. So it is actually important to know people that why we do remind the new people in their young age that God exists in this earth. Cause we are gonna have hard times, we are gonna have hearts and downs in our lives, we are gonna have valleys, we are gonna have mountains. So you have to say in all the state that I have overcome all these things, I have overcome that God has given me and I am ready to overcome it whenever I face any types of or any kinds of ups and downs. Not everyone's life is made of rose. There will be ups and downs in your life. So just we have to learn how to deal with them. We have to thank God for our every each of the day. The writer tells others to rely on Jesus. Even when circumstances take turbulence, twist, or any kind of problem in life, just be calm. God will do the work. Even may you might want your future to change, you want your experience to change. God might put you in some sufferings and allow you to have some hard times because he wants you to depend on him and trust him that he is going to make a way for you so that's all for my today's video hope you enjoyed it if you did then do like share and subscribe to my channel and let me know your thoughts on this book in the comment section below